Minister within the office of the Prime Minister, Kwame McCoy, on Wednesday refuted claims that the government has attempted to deter journalists from freely reporting on issues in the country. At an event organized by the Guyana Press Association, GPA, at Moray House, in observance of World Press Freedom Day, McCoy emphasized that journalists play a critical role in society. Our intention is absolutely pure in respect to the tr they, uh, our relationship, engagement um, with journalists in Guyana, with the media in Guyana, with citizens of Guyana, at all levels, pure, absolutely pure, because for us, it is only by maintaining the type of civil and, and relationship of respect that we can be able to move our society forward, and not only forward, but to do it and to do so very quickly and to get to the place, the ideal place that we all dream of. The report by Reporters Without Borders, RSF, noted that journalists in Guyana continue to encounter intimidation tactics, especially when reporting on the oil and gas sector. According to the GPA, the integrity of journalism will continue to be under threat in Guyana as the media continues to ask the necessary questions regarding the state's affairs. Nevertheless, the GPA president, Nazima Ragbir, reminded that the media must continue to create awareness about the other human rights and fundamental freedoms that Guyanese are entitled to. This year, World Press Freedom Day is being observed at a time when there appears to be a creeping intolerance to media that seek answers, especially from the political directorates across the Guyana's major political divide. The resort to defaming the character of journalists on a politically aligned social media page or the expletive-laced response that journalists are themselves a violation of Article 12 of the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights that protects people against attacks upon their honor and reputation. However, McCoy noted that the government appreciates criticisms when necessary, but he also reminded that the government is also firm in giving clarifications when information does not truly reflect the intentions of the government. The bottom line is that we always recognize that we have to be able to accept criticism. There's no, absolutely no problem with that. But also, that on the other hand, that we also have to understand that if we are going to operate in a democratic society, in a framework in which uh, criticisms exist, then it is right too for us to criticize when we believe that the information has not had the right treatment and when we believe that there has been uh, the most facetious and capricious type of treatment to information that seeks to put us into a bad light. And this happens all across the world. President Dr. Irfan Ali also reaffirmed the government's commitment to respect press freedom. In a press release, the president said the press has been and must continue to be a staunch defender of the right to life and liberty. This year's World Press Freedom Day was observed under the theme, Shaping a Future of Rights, Freedom of Expression as a Driver for All Other Human Rights. Reporting for the Newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.